Hey guys, this is a mirror image. Um, I noticed this is gonna be the there hasn't been very much, have, or very many videos of uh, high level PvE mesmers. A lot of PvP stuff, but not PvE, so I was just gonna make a short video on what I use for uh, going through ore. Um, the armor I have right now is, I don't actually have maxed armor quite yet. Um, I was working on. Uh, getting the full world done and I haven't been able to play as much with school and stuff but anyways um I have mostly rare and some exotics um right now I'm, I'll be using runes of the mesmer when I have enough money to get them all for all my armor pieces but I'm, I'm going with a power precision and toughness build um basically I want all my armor pieces by the time I'm done to have uh, power precision for uh, direct damage and then toughness so I can actually stay in the fight for longer. Um, weapon wise I really like sword and pistol. Um, it's it's really good for dynamic events because you have the blurred frenzy skill um, which is AoE just like the one skill and so you can get a lot of hits off with that and then I like staff for the chaos storm. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go through ore and show you sort of how this build works. There are better ones for farming in ore. Um, there's a AOE confusion one you can use to get confusion on tons of enemies. Uh, the only thing is, it's really a niche build. You if you if you aren't running it for specific areas, it's not very good, especially against bosses because you get about one tick um, per 18 stacks of confusion. So it's not even like worth it. You'll get 18 stacks in confusion, and it'll only affect the uh, boss at one time or so. My pain is easy. Yeah, this is uh, basically high uh, damage from your weapons. Uh, I traded it so um, my recharge for weapons will be a lot quicker. Um, I like this one just in case if I don't get a burst my illusions they'll be doing some damage or causing conditions crippling um, if they're killed before I can uh, shatter them uh, this one's always good phantasms have fury so they'll be critting and also with uh, 15 points in dueling you cause bleeds really awesome for the duels you can get like 25 stacks of bleeds if you have a couple of them out uh, this is the one I was talking about um, where my uh, reduce recharge time for sword skills and then same for the pistol um, the 20 points in chaos is mostly for this 50 toughness with the staff so you have more survivability and then also the recharge recharge is really awesome you save a lot more time than you might think just from that extra percentage like in a minute a minute battle if you're actually using all the skills consistently you'll be saving a lot of time um, and this one so clones are causing conditions when they're killed just for that extra um, control and then I put five points in inspiration so that my phantasms will have retaliation so anytime they're getting attacked I'm actually causing damage with them and then this last one illusionist celerity um, just so the uh, phantasm skills recharge even faster so with this build um, your skills are gonna be uh, usable more often like the illusionary duelist which is normally I guess a uh, 12 second cooldown is an 8 second cooldown and like I said in a minute battle that makes a huge difference if you are constantly summoning that duelist whenever you run out. Ooh, party that invite. Went off That's the stuff. And awesome, getting spammed. I like to report these guys just because I really want them to stop uh, messing with the system but yeah. you should too if you get those the mail like that but yeah a lot of people were complaining about the um, mesmer being super weak as a um, PvE class and I have done like almost 80% of the map which isn't anything to brag about but I've done it pretty much all solo so I'm just like, testifying that the mesmer is capable of being a su successful PvE class even though they may be more uh, PvP oriented yeah, so uh, in these events where there's huge mobs, I usually um, use the staff just for the uh, 
the Chaos Storm there to AoE when they're all in big groups. But otherwise I use the uh, one skill for the sword, and since I have the high crit I'm able to tag the mobs pretty easily. And then when they all group up I like to blur frenzy them. As you see the lot, there's a lot of red numbers popping up for the uh, crits. Uh, I don't have a lot of enough, all the runes that I need for the maximum crit. Uh, potential, but like I said, I'm doing Rune of the Mesmer for power and precision, and um, so yeah, and my crit chance is a 46% uh, with, while using this weapon. That'll even get up higher when I get max gear and have all the runes and everything. But. Now, Mesmers are awesome in boss fights um, if you can keep your illusions alive. Uh, normally, you can. Um, but once, basically, the idea of when you're playing the Mesmer um, for boss fights, you want to have all of your strongest illusions summoned. Um, so that's typically going to be your um, your duelist phantasms or your illusionary warlock is a good choice. If you're running greatsword, the berserker is really good for AOE AOE damage. Um, but I mean pretty much any of the phantasms. I prefer the duelist and the warlock, which is one of the reasons why I'm using uh, sword and pistol as my main and then staff. I love staff. It's I always have a staff as one of my good weapons. If I get in a jam and I need to uh, play defensively, staff's the best choice. And you still have a lot of support and uh, moderate damage. So. And Scepter and uh, Sword is actually a pretty good combination if you want to play more defensively. Not so much for these dynamic events where you're trying to tag so you can get more loot. Um, smart idea to always have food. Omnom Berry Bars are probably, probably the best if you're going for drops and money. Uh, you get a 30% chance increase in Magic Find and 40% for Monsters. I used to actually have Magic Find gear. Um, with the uh, rune of the pirate on them for increased chance of getting a uh, magic find or increased magic find for better drops um, I changed that recently though just because I was getting I don't arena hasn't really explained exactly how that affects um, your dr the drop rate and I'm a little skeptical of it but I do know that when I have these other runes I'm doing more damage so I'm getting more kills and I'm it's it's more um versatile. I can go into dungeons with this armor and I have to worry about not contributing as much. I can uh, do these events with more confidence. So, the magic find is a, is a good idea. A lot of warriors will use it because they can use uh, that spinning axe move and do a lot of AoE damage there. Um, yeah, looks like nobody's going after this champion so I might just go down here with this group. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little sick right now, so my voice is all messed up, and I'm just not a good commentator in general, but yeah. <laughs> 